what's going on guys it's your boy splurgeo and today i'm going to be showing you guys my favorite tune for the s13 otherwise known as the s20 wellington on car x so guys before we do hop into this tune if you guys do enjoy the video drop a like if you guys can drop a sub as well there's a lot of you guys that aren't subscribed check that out like i said guys before i don't really emphasize it much but i kind of wanted to this video just because a lot of you guys have been returning and watching my videos so you might as well subscribe if you want to stay updated with all of the tunes that i do or anything that i can help you guys out with also i don't want to do too too much talking but make sure to follow me on kick guys i just started streaming on kick i am doing a lot of different things on there so make sure you check it out it's really funny and yeah drop a follow it really mean the world guys anyways guys let's hop right into it the s13 is one of my favorite cars to use in this game i'm actually happy i'm able to share this tune with you guys shout out to this guy right here he did drop the comment recommending to do the tune on this car so we'll be doing it right now all right guys so first things first as always y'all know the drill make sure you put that thing on ultimate no swap keep it stock we love the sr20 we love sr20 sounds but let's hop into it suspension i'm running this suspension because i like that little you know always showing that tire not exactly exactly on the fender um front spring length 11 rear 12 then the stiffness on the front 65 the rear is 54 the front damper fast bump is 2350 the rear damper fast bump is 1400 front damper fast rebound is 4000 and then the rear damper fast rebound is also 4000 now the front damper bump is going to be at 4900 and the rear damper bump is going to be at 2900 if you guys want to i know i go fast a little bit so if you guys want to pause it you can go ahead and do that anyways moving on the front damper rebound is going to be set at 5100 the rear damper rebound is going to be set at 3640 and moving on to the toe the front toe is going to be at a 0.10 and then the rear toe is going to be at a 0.25 the rear camber i like to keep it anywhere between negative 7 and 8 right now i have it at negative 7.59 and the rear camber as well is going to be set at 7.61 very very similar cambers the anti-roll bar on the front is going to be 11 and the rear is going to be half of that which is six almost half of it then the caster i have it at 1.7 degrees you guys can always mess up mess with that if you'd like to of course increment angle i do have it at 58 right now sometimes i do bump it up a little bit just in case i do want to get a little wider but it is risky because you can lose control as far as these last three the steering axis offset kingpin and the max steering angle i keep it the same besides the, actually the max steering angle i did bump it up to 60 i don't know if the original is on 60 but yeah moving on to the wheels guys the front rim diameter 18 on front and rear just look great honestly the front tire width is 230 and i don't know why this one's on 225 pump that up to 230 as well the front tire pressure 150 the rears are going to be lower at 135 front wheel adhesion rear wheel adhesion at 90 like i said before guys i love running those smooth drifts great for tandems 90s 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 if you're going to be doing tandems if you guys want to switch that up if you're new you can always do that go for it if you're not new this is perfect for tandems and catching up to people and getting on their door now your front wheel track six rear base seven this is all up to you guys right there just you know depending on how you like your fitment the front tire profile i set it at 30 on this one just so that the tires can show a little more um the engine i do have everything upgraded this is one of my fast boy tunes this is great for chasing like i said external wastegate all the or yes sorry engine tune up all the way up max torque is set low um the rev limiter is all the way up turbocharger and turbo air pressure yes and all the way up and the reason that i have the max torque set all the way low is just because sometimes when you're trying to get your angle again it looks a little too jumpy when you have too much torque so i pumped that down a little bit if you don't like it you can change it but anyways the transmission you want to run a sequential transmission the differential type you want to run the lsd the limited slip differential a diff locking ratio at a 95 and then the final drive i have it at 2.90 as far as the gears they're all stock i go ahead and show you guys because in the last video i did have somebody ask but go ahead and check those out right there i'm not gonna say them um stock gears like i said nothing different from what you get stock now moving on to the brakes i put my brake torque all the way low your front brake bias at 80 of course you want abs and no launch control all right guys so now we're gonna hop in a game i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what this thing can do and what gears to be running when you do want to run this car because it is definitely crucial on knowing what gears to run when you're running this car okay guys so if you guys are going to be running a close quarter map what you do want to do is run it on first or second depending on what kind of map you're running if you're running wide angles you want to stay in second or third only time you'll ever touch first is if you're losing grip 
and you want to get back in track now personally i do really love this car for literally any use it's perfect for chasing and catching up to people when they're a little faster because the tune is really fast and it is also very very responsive within very tight corners like that i know i did clip the bumper a little bit but it is very very whippy and easy to control in my opinion also one other thing guys if you guys do ever want any tunes without having to watch the videos and you guys are on pc and have zml or kino downloaded you can always just join my discord i do drop the tunes in there if you guys do just ask me in discord i'll drop the tunes in there so that way you can download it and upload it onto your game and you can just instantly have the tune without having to watch the full video other than that guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys did enjoy make sure you go out there and enjoy this tune and if you guys did stick around till the very end make sure you let me know in the comment section below that way i can heart your comment but yeah see you guys later and peace out